Hapo jambo mtazamaji karibu kwenye chaguo la Kenya mwaka 2022 tukiwa tunazidi tuku kuletea matangazo mubashara kutoka bunge la taifa ambapo wabunge wanaendelea na raundi ya pili ya uchaguzi wa spika baada ya raundi ya kwanza kukosa kutoa spika uh, kwa sababu hakuna yote ambaye aliweza kupata kura zaidi ya thuluthi mbili ya wabunge ambayo inastahili kuwa mbili thelathini na mbili au thelathini na tatu ukipenda uh, ambayo, inatara, ambayo ilikuwa inastahili katika raundi ya kwanza na katika raundi hiyo ya kwanza Kenneth Marende aliyekuwa speaker wa zamani amepata kura mia moja na thelathini huku Moses Wetangula aliyekuwa seneta wa Bungoma akipata kura mia mbili kumi na tano na utakumbuka kwamba uh, speaker uh, seneta huyo wa uh, Bungoma Moses Wetangula ilibidi ya juzi Zulu ili aweze kusimama uh, katika kinyanganyiro hicho uh, kupitia mrengo wa Kenya Kwanza. Hata hivyo awali kulikuwa na majibizano katika bunge hilo kuhusu uwezo wake wa kusimama uh, kama makuania uh, kama speaker kwani kujuzulu kwake katika bunge la Senate kulitiliwa shaka na mbunge wa Ruaraka TJ Kajwang. Hata hivyo Kaimu Karani wa bunge la Taifa Sera Kioko alisema kuwa wetangula alijiuzulu mnamo agosti tarehe 19 na haikuhitaji kwamba kujiuzulu kwake ama barua yake kujiuzulu iweze kujibiwa na spika. Hebu tusikize jinsi mambo yalivyokuwa kabla ya kurejea hapo bungeni kuona jinsi shughuli ya uchaguzi inavyoendelea. So if as I am reliably informed that he tendered his resignation to an office without the substantive member being the substantive, uh, substantive holder of that office being validly in that office, then he resigned to no speaker. The Honorable Moses Wetangula indeed resigned two days after the gazettement of senators by IBC in the Kenya Gazette. Even if Moses Masika Wetangula did not resign and did not brought you a resignation letter based on Article 74 of the Constitution. The Honorable Moses Watangula is not a senator of the 13th Senate, I mean of the 3rd Senate, because he has not taken the oath of office. You took an oath just a few minutes ago to protect this Constitution. There is a problem in the Constitution, we need to fix it. But as it is today, there is gray area. Is that the seat automatically becomes vacant upon receipt of the resignation of a letter and there is no corresponding obligation imposed on the speaker to accept or decline the resignation. I have satisfied myself that the Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula is qualified for election as a speaker of the National Assembly. The House is accordingly guided. 